Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to the DWP. It is Dan, Dan Wrestling Predictions. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out today goes to JFW Stage Creator. If you guys don't remember JFW, this is Judgment Figures Wrestling. Uh, he's got a new name now, JFW Stage Creator. He is the same guy, doing the same awesome stuff. Uh, I think he switched phones, I, I believe is what happened. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think he switched phones and uh, does not have access to his old YouTube account anymore, so he's starting over, and I'll tell you what, he's going to be caught up to us in subs in no time, especially when you see the prediction video we have today. Now, without further ado, let me set this camera up over here. Make sure we still got the shout out going on the shout out board. Turn the lights on in three, two, or I'm sorry, lights, cameras, action. Okay, here we are. We are ready to go. His first match for his Friday Night SmackDown is going to be Cody Rhodes taking on none other than Randy Orton. Guys, we know Randy Orton's due for a win in a pick that, right? Like somewhere on YouTube, Randy Orton's picking up a win. But I'll tell you what, I got that sneaking feeling it's not going to be this night. I think Friday Night Smackdown, I think Cody's going to pick up the W over Randy Orton. Is What kind of match is this? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to assume, because he didn't say anything about any special stipulation matches, I'm assuming this is just going to be a pinfall uh, or submission. I think... Uh, I don't know, something's... I'm, I'm on a Randy Orton kick, right? Like, Randy Orton's due for a win somewhere. And if, if he doesn't get a, a win in one of your guys' videos, I'm going to have to give him a win in mine, right? We're going to have to do a, a a shoot to give Randy Orton a win because, he, he I mean, he deserves it. He's due for a win sometime. But I just have that sneaking feeling. Something in my gut is telling me tonight, or, I'm sorry, Friday night is not going to be Randy's night. I think Cody's going to walk out with a victory... And then, once we move off of that, we're moving into the debut of the Bloodline 2.0, featuring Tribal Chief Solo Sokoa. We've got the crazy man, Honorary Oos Sammy, Final Boss, The Rock, and who else? I don't have, because they haven't made a Tonga figure yet. So I'm using the old solo to, to fill that void for now. And while these guys make their debut, wouldn't you know it, but I think they're going to get jumped because Sami Zayn has a match with Rey Mysterio. I think they're going to get jumped on the way to the ring, or they're going to be in the ring making their announcement, making their uh, debut known. And Rey Mysterio is going to jump him. I mean, he's got to get the upper hand, right? He's got to somehow, because I truly see Bloodline 2.0, like, they're all going to get involved somehow. They're, you know, going to cheat their way into a victory. Sammy's going to distract the ref while Rey's outside the ring and gets jumped by the Rock, by Solo. They're, they're going to be laying in wait, just waiting for Rey. I mean... They're making their debut, so all four of them are going to be out there, right? They have to be announcing their new faction. I think Ray's just, man, is he in for a uphill battle? And I just don't think he's going to be ready for it. I think he's going to run out, maybe with maybe he'll run out with a chair, a kendo stick, something to start, you know, whooping down on these guys, just to give him some self, some sort of fighting advantage, give him a chance. But I just don't think, I think the numbers game is going to catch up to him. Sammy's going to get the win, and we're going to move right along. Moving right along into match three, we have Bronson Reed and Otis teaming up to take on Omos and Bobby Lashley. Guys, I don't know if I've said it on the channel before, but I'm definitely saying it now. Bobby Lashley is one of the strongest WWE superstars I have ever seen in my life. I don't know how he can lose this one. It's, he's so flippin' strong. Like, this is a big, big dude. This just seems like, I don't even know if he needs Omos. 
I mean, Omos might cost him the the match, but I really I don't think Omos I, I don't think Omos will cost him because I I think Bronson Reed and Otis are going to be so worried about how big Omos is, how much he overtowers them, and just how muscular he is in his own right. But Bobby Lashley has got this one in the bag. I mean, he he can make he could pin either one of these guys, no problem. I, I think this is going to be a, a fun and grueling match, but I truly think Bobby and Omos are going to pick up the W on this one. And guys, also going to throw this out there, Bobby Lashley is one of my low-key favorite wrestlers, like in the same vein that I really like Dolph Ziggler, in the same vein I really like Sheamus. These guys just don't get pushed well enough, they don't get the rec recognition that they deserve. Bobby Lashley is right there with Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler, in my opinion, as one of my favorite performers. Not in the same vein as, like, a Finn Balor or Seth Rollins. Like, these guys get exposure and are good. So, you know, they get the rightful exposure. They, I think Finn has been screwed over a time or two. Seth, I think, gets the right amount of exposure that he should. But Bobby Lashley, Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler... Well, I guess not Dolph anymore, since he's no longer with the company... But, like, these guys are all in that vein of, like, really, really good performers, really good wrestlers, and just don't get the credit they deserve. So, I'm giving you all the shout-outs in the world, Bobby. You got this one. Speak of the men themselves. Next, we have Seth freaking Rollins taking on Finn Balor. Guys, you know I love to see a good Finn Balor win. You know I love to see a good Finn Balor beating Seth Rollins, like at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship for the first time ever. You guys know I love to see really any good Finn Balor match, any good Seth Rollins match. However, I'm not... Um, everything is telling me to go against my my normal belief on this match. You know, Cody beating Randy Orton... Normally, I would say, like, come on, Randy Orton, it's his time. Normally, I would say, Finn, it's his time. But I'm just getting the feeling Seth Rollins is riding that wave. Like, he kind of is here, is in a literal physical form. It's kind of why I set him up this way. I think he's going to roll into this match. I don't think it's going to be an easy win, but I could potentially see... A stomp, one, two, three, pin, lights out for Finn. I, I see Finn trying to set up the coup de gras. Seth rolling out of it. Finn goes down. You know, Seth gets him with a pedigree, maybe. And then hits him with the stomp, one, two, three. Seth picking up the win. As much as I it pains me to say, I just... Uh, I feel like I've seen it before. I feel like we'll see it in this pick fed. I think for I mean, I don't think they're battling for a championship or for a title shot. Um at least that wasn't posted that it was for a championship or for a title opportunity. Um so if you're going to take the loss Finn, this is the time to do it. You know, really just save your energy for when when it's time when all the marbles are on the table and it's time to go for a title opportunity or win a title. That's when you want to save all your energy and come out strong. So if you have to take the loss to Seth this week, it's fine. No big deal. You'll get over it and bounce back at the end of the world pay-per-view. Maybe we'll see Finn Balor having a title opportunity then. Maybe in a, a three-way match. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I think, uh, I think Seth picks up the vi victory on Friday. Guys, I'm sorry. I still can't find my Shane McMahon figure. I have like two or three of them. Cannot find any of them right now. Although I am redoing some stuff down here still. Trying to get that, that really nice setup so I can start displaying figures. And that's probably why I can't find them. Regardless, we have Vince McMahon standing in for Shane McMahon. But we will have a Shane McMahon versus John Cena match. Can anyone else say squash match? Right? This doesn't... I, I, I don't think Shane McMahon stands much of a chance against John Cena. I know he always booked himself to be this big bad hero who could take on you know the the top of the world and not have to earn his way into a title opportunity or a, a big main event match and he was just this incredible superstar but let's face reality Shane McMahon versus John Cena come on that's 
That's not even close. Well, this is John Cena all day. All right, next we have... Uh, I still don't have an LA Knight figure yet, guys, so please forgive me for that. I have a custom that I'm working on for someone who... Uh, it was supposed to be a custom for one of my friends, but uh, they no longer wanted the figure, so I'm now switching up this custom for a YouTuber, which should be announced soon. I should have a custom video, which is going to go over a bunch of the customs I've been working on and showing you guys the progress and just kind of getting your thoughts on where everything is. Uh, so we've got a custom figure standing in for LA Knight who's teaming up with Logan Paul to take on the Aussie icon Grayson Waller and Undertaker. Guys, congratulations first off Logan Paul on being able to conceive your first child. I am so excited for you. I can't wait for you to experience all the wonders that are parenthood. It is an amazing feeling. Um, now, with that being said, wait until you are ready to have kids. <laughs> I can't stress that enough because I've wanted to be a father for the longest time. I waited until the right moment. I am now in my 30s and I am a father and it is the best feeling ever, but I am financially responsible, emotionally responsible, and ready to be a father. So guys, please, 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 I can't stress this enough, have a plan Make sure you are ready to be a father before you become a father or mother. Uh, a child is a huge responsibility. When it's the right time, it is one of the best responsibilities you'll ever have in your life. But make sure you are ready. I cannot stress that enough. Anyway, congratulations, Logan Paul, to you and your wife on your child. We can't wait to see the beautiful baby. I think they announced it was a boy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so for that reason alone... Logan Paul's got to win this. Logan Paul and LA Knight, you can win. Honestly, I think Grayson Waller is going to cost the match for Undertaker, and then Undertaker, after the match, is going to turn on Grayson Waller, and that's going to set up a rivalry. I think Undertaker is going to be so disappointed in his tag team partner and how what a pitiful performance that Grayson Waller has given that I truly believe Undertaker will turn on Grayson Waller after the match and then we can have an amazing Grayson Waller versus Undertaker rivalry. I think that would just be awesome. So, yeah, Ellie Knight and Logan Paul, you guys got this win. This should be easy work. That's what I think on that one. We'll find out Friday. It is the second to last match. This is the, the match closer eve match. It is Dom Dom Mysterio taking on Jeff Hardy. This would have just been a fun match in general. Like, I, I think Dominic and, like, J.D. McDonough versus the Hardy Boys would have just been a fun match to watch. Or Dom and Finn, or Finn, any two members of the Judgment Day versus the Hardy Boys would have been an amazing match just to watch. G give me, like, Finn and Damien versus Matt and Jeff Hardy. That would be an awesome, awesome match. I would love to have seen that. Uh, but that's probably never going to happen, you know, but hey, you never say never. CM Punk's back in WWE, so after that, I won't say anything about anything. <laughs> Nothing's impossible unless they're dead. That's really the only time that it's then impossible. But anyways, Dominic versus Jeff. This is This one's tricky, right? Because... Dominic can call in the Judgment Day. J.D. McDonough could interfere if uh, JFW has a J.D. McDonough custom. Rhea Ripley could show up. Mommy could get in the way and interfere. However, Jeff could also call on Matt. So Matt Hardy could come to back him up in case, Dom in case Dominic does have some backup. If J.D. McDonough, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, if any of those guys show up, Jeff can call on Matt. And maybe Matt will come out to help him. So this one's really tough to call. And I don't... Mm. I will say, you know, the numbers game is what makes me want to lean towards Dominic. I just... I feel like, you know, I had Finn losing his match against Seth. And after that, you know, if Finn comes out here, he's going to be fired up. He's going to want to see Judgment Day get a win. 
if mommy gets involved in any way, you know, that's going to have Jeff in a predicament. Like, he's, he's going to be stuck. And I think the numbers game, once again, just like with Ray in the bloodline, I think the numbers game is going to stack up against Jeff. And I think Judgment Day and Dominic Mysterio, by extension, are going to pull out the win here. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. And the final match of JFW Stage Creators Friday Night Smackdown is Tonga versus Priest. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a championship match. This is the Bloodline versus the Judgment Day. This is all cards on the table for, I'm pretty sure, the championship. Guys, how do you, where do we even begin? Finn Balor coming fresh off a, ma or, or, sorry, Dominic Mysterio coming fresh off a match. Rhea rested, didn't have a match all night. Finn coming off a match earlier. Sami Zayn coming off a match earlier. But then The Rock and Solo haven't wrestled a match all night. This could go to the wire. I honestly don't know who I think could win this. This is, I mean, obviously we know it's going to be both factions, right? Like, we, it's not just going to be the competitors involved in the match. It never is, especially when these groups get involved. It's never just the the men in the ring. It's, it's bring your army, we're going to bring ours, and good luck. So that's, that's really what we're looking at here is who has the better army out here. Oh, this is, this is tough. I think there's no numbers game advantage, right? Unless, do the Usos mysteriously appear? And if they do, do they help the bloodline or do they go after the bloodline? Does Kevin Owens come out and help Sami Zayn? Or does Kevin Owens come out and go after Sami Zayn? Does John Cena come out to settle some score with The Rock? Does Roman Reigns come out to settle a score with Finn or Solo or... Like, there's so many, there's so much that could happen in this match. Like, it's not even fair. There's so, anything could happen. I don't have a prediction for this one because I don't, I don't have that gut feeling one way or another. If, if we were just talking about the two competitors in the ring, I think experience and favor is going to go to Damian Priest, right? That may, that's the obvious call. That's the call that makes sense. But I, I truly don't believe it's going to be just the two men in the ring. I think both factions are going to be involved. Whether it's a distraction ringside, whether they get involved and you know knock the other the opposition's uh, superstar around a bit, I don't know what it's going to entail. But I, this obviously it's not going to be a fair fight. Current champion, I believe, is Damian Priest. All said and. All said and done, I, th I think Damian Priest retains. Just because there's not enough... There's not anything compelling enough to make me think that Tonga has a chance to... Like, no, not one side doesn't have an advantage over the other. Right? Like, you never go against Mommy. Mommy is... Mommy is... is mommy is always on top. Right? Finn Balor is my guy. I never want to bet against him. I know I did earlier. Please don't don't kill me in the comments for that. I had to bet against him because you know my gut was saying you always go with Finn and he never wins. So I had to go against him this one time to hopefully break that streak. Now now you don't go against Finn. I mean the Rock solo. I don't know if Sammy. I mean I think Dom can handle Sami Zayn. I think he can. I think. I think Finn can handle Solo. Mommy is going to whoop the... You know, she's going to take care of The Rock. <laughs> uh, you know, I think Damien's going to be able to get to work. So I think there's not enough to convince me the Bloodline can win this one. So I'm giving this one to the Judgment Day. At the end of the night, I think Damien will remain your JFW champion. I mean, it's in the name, right? Judgment Figures Wrestling. It's got to be the Judgment Day. That's my final prediction. That's my final thought on it. Let me know what you guys think. We're looking forward to you, uh, JFW. Can't wait to see this match go down on Friday. Can't wait to see the results. I've got to be right on at least one of these, right? We'll see you next time, guys. Bye!
Thank you.